Hello ladies and gentlemen and welcome back to RimWorld. We are still halfway through the Royal Ascent quest. So this may very well be the last episode we do of RimWorld on this colony anyway. Uh, we seem to be surviving okay. Uh, the attacks are getting a little bit bigger, a little bit tougher. We're hanging on so far. I'm also going to apologize if you can hear the fan in the background. You shouldn't be able to but you never know. It's we're in the middle of a heat wave. It's really hot. It's like, it's like 30 degrees in here right now. So it's not the most pleasant time to recording a video, but you know, we make do. So in theory, we are just waiting. Why is there a mach Why is there just an assault rifle on a bench? What, what happened here? Did we make that minigun? We did make that minigun. Where did that minigun go? Did Blobby actually get the minigun? He did! <laughs> this is where things get interesting. We can now use Blobby as basically a walking turret. <laughs> and he can mow down all of the friendly units. Because that's usually what happens whenever I go anywhere near. Starvation? Why are you starving, Trig? Get up, get something to eat, you idiot. There we go. Hey, at least we've got plenty of beer. Right, instead of, like, cleaning the dead bodies, can we burn them? I'd also like to get rid of these, you know, bows. That would be nice. We have it set up so people... Burn wooden things, don't they? Smell weapons? Is it this one? Hmm. I swear we have a way of getting rid of these weapons, but oh well. I guess we'll just leave them there. It'll be... <laughs> <laughs> It'll be uh, somebody else's problem, I assume. My right, Blobby's going to get really upset because he's burning bodies, but... He'll be fine. Where did, those... Where did we get those shells from? Oh, I remember. We got the, uh, the siege, didn't we, in the last episode? I didn't think sieges were going to be a thing we had to deal with during this quest, but, oh, well, you know. I'm just waiting for something to drop in the back garden. That's going to be the real kicker. If we get like a mech drop in the back garden, we are in serious trouble if it's anything of a dangerous size. But who knows, maybe nothing will happen for the next six days and it will be plain sailing, clean and easy. Not gonna work, but you never know. Maybe if I say it enough times, I'll believe it myself. If we still have food. In fact, everything is going perfectly well in terms of actual colony survival, which is, you know, good. Sylvie on her throne. Beyond that, I'm not really sure what I should be achieving right now. I guess we're, we're still farming and things. Because the last thing I'd want to do is everyone to starve right at the end. We do have extra people here, which, you know, are eating more food than normal. Yeah, we are running out of meat. Maybe I'll go and send somebody hunting and hope nobody jumps us while we're out there. Um, what we got? There's an Ibex Ram there. We'll take that down. we we'll take out some boom rats and set fire to the entire forest. It's, it's taken this long for us to restore the forest back to its wonder. And there it is. Should have seen that coming. Arrayed by the grey monsters. Looks like they want to use sappers to tunnel around your defences. Where are you coming from? Okay, yeah, there's quite a lot of them. He has a minigun. Come on, man. I just got a minigun. You can't you can't do me like that. That's just a... <laughs> Uh-oh, I think they're coming. Uh Battle stations? Battle stations. Definitely battle stations. Everybody inside. Right, uh. Marianne Wen's kind of like really badly hurt right now, which doesn't fill me with confidence. We're just gonna put Blubby somewhere where he can just kind of mow people down. Uh, let's put these guys here. That's the guy with the lance, right? No, charge rifle. You're the lance. You're the lance indeed. And then we have melee man. Yep, melee man. And we have other melee man. And Stench has an EMP gun. Not very useful right now. More melee. 
Uh, Cecilia, you are going there, and we'll put Trig in the corner over here as well. Hopefully we'll all amass before things go horribly wrong. Where's Ryan standing? Ryan, can you get inside of the main hall, please? Thank you very much. Cecilia, you need to run a lot quicker than you're currently running. Oh, Clumsy, where are you going? Where are you going, Clumsy? Get back in here. Ah. They appear to be actually going right round our defences. Uh, how are we going to deal with this? I don't have any doors on this side of the base. Wait, what's your plan? <gasps> Athena! Uh, hang on. They're shooting my animals. Get in here. Hide! Woo! Fine. I don't know where the... Uh... Okay, why are you moving so slowly? You're high. Oh, absolutely wonderful. That's just what I needed in the penultimate battle of my, my entire colony, is for a dude to be high. Right, Blubby, I need you to be really careful with that minigun. Right, Trick, get in there. Cubicle, get in there. Nobody shoot your own men. I know how bad you guys are at this. Move out of the way. Oh my god. Oh well, there goes the guy with the minigun. Is that a better minigun than what Blubby has? No, Blubby has a good minigun. It's fine. Oh dear, that person there has a minigun too. How about we take them down? Wait, how many miniguns do they have? Okay, just two. I was going to say, Jesus. It came in packing. Hey, yeah, you better run. I'd say that went well. They came in with two miniguns. They, they meant business. They meant business. What is that? A bio-coded triple rocket launcher. Well, I'm glad nobody bloody fired that off. That would have sucked. Another sniper rifle. I guess I could give the sniper rifle to Cecilia. He's a very good shot. Sixteen. Yeah, okay. We're going to equip Cecilia with a sniper rifle. It's a bit different to the charge rifle, but uh, I think it will go quite well. Oh, you guys can go back to work as well. So we've got a couple of people in hospital. I don't think there's anything serious. Uh, bruise... Bruises. Cracking a bruise. Yeah, it's fine. We didn't take much damage there. We should probably do something about this guy who's just kind of hanging out in the front here. Oh, he got smashed in the left leg with a uh, Zeus hammer. Bet you that bloody hurt. You know what though? Blobby with that uh, minigun did a good job. Normally he just takes down my entire team. I guess as long as I make people stand in front of him who have uh, shields on, should be fine. <laughs> the friendly fire shields, that's what they are. Oh. Did somebody's head come off? Bitten off. Somebody ate the... Well. Terribly sorry. Ubicle is wandering around. Really? Divorce, Blubby. Oh, I guess they got divorced. Yeah, that makes sense. Their mood is has been distinctively destroyed. Oh, hang on. Let's release the animals. Need them to haul all these bodies away. What's that? Oh, yeah, yo. Okay. Let's not touch that. Last thing I need is a bunch of people even more drugged up than the guy who was high in the last combat. Do we have enough time to recover? I mean, oh yeah, everyone is recovered. Even Cubicle, who's wandering around. Wow, okay. We took... Is it they had a sapper? They decided to walk through the front door, which I think is kind of bizarre. I thought they were going to try and work their way in around here or something. Like, this is where they usually come in, the bloody hospital. Not complaining, though. Not complaining. I feel like I need that kind of luck to get through this. Because they were packing some serious uh, weaponry there. 
Just the miniguns alone. Kind of insane. Oh. Oh dear. Oh, we poisoned the Stellark. Oh no. Oh no. <laughs> Whoops. Sorry about that. Oh, cool. All right, Crypto Sleep ca Casket. We may as well just carry on doing these. Let's do some deep drilling. There we go. Hopefully we won't need to worry about them, but uh, you know, you never know. This might all backfire. Okay, well they go all the dead bodies. Guessing we don't have anywhere to. Yeah, we've run out of room to store all these guns and things. As they're not being smelted down. Oh, I guess Ryan is smelting down slag right now. Where are you going to get that slag? The other side of the world. Okay, well let's let's lower. Wait, smell weapon should be. Oh, awful to normal. That's why. Hmm. Yeah, he should be touching. He should be taking them down. Unless these are all, yeah, normal to poor. Interesting. Interesting, interesting, interesting. I think if I burn weapon... Yeah, these are the range weapons here. I thought I set this up before, but I guess I never did. Uh, I just kind of want to burn... Awful to good of... Oh wait, what melee weapons are they? Not Zeus hammers, war hammers... Oh wait, war hammers probably? Actually, I just want to get rid of like... Healers and bows and things? Yeah, okay, let's just not worry about melee weapons for now. I just want to get rid of, like, all this sort of stuff. And then, yeah, anything awful to good of that. Throw it in the furnace! Ah, cubicle snapped out of it. Wonderful. There is spears. But, eh, but we haven't got enough to really worry about it. Oh, bill complete. Ha! <laughs> Whoops! I forgot to set it to uh, do forever. Ah, we've poisoned one of the other guards. Okay, mate, who the hell is cooking these... Uh-oh. The, the mechs are here. Who is cooking these meals? I thought my cooks were decent. Someone... Oh, wait, can I actually see who cooked the meals by clicking on them? Hmm. That would be a no, then. Okay, where's this hide come... Hive... Hive coming. They dropped right on top of you and are attacking immediately. They find right on top of me. Ah! Literally. Right on top. Okay, well. Uh, let's get... Let me guess. The guy with the Zeus hammer is the guy who got poisoned. That's usually how that goes. No, he is high though. here as well and cubicle if we can Eddie and when you need to get out of there because you take about half an hour to move um right I need you to get out of there as well my friend uh oh uh oh okay right uh, that one berserk thanks yep you all attack each other run oh dear uh how about you attack him yeah run Big help! <laughs> right, you attack him, you attack him. Uh-oh. I'll admit, this could have gone better. And who's shooting? Ryan is shooting. Uh... Stench, you've got an EMP gun, get down here. Why am I fighting them out here? This is the dumbest thing I've ever done. Oh, okay, that went that went okay. Uh, can somebody save Eddie Amman? What happened? Torso and, and right leg. I think it was really bad just because of what was bitten off. Oh, left big toe, because of the already damaged state. 
Can somebody rescue? Oh, somebody was rescuing. Oh well. I'm to Ryan. Oh, you got shot by the turret. Well, that's just wonderful, isn't it? Oh no, I dropped my staff. I need this. Oh, well, somebody got a shooting frenzy. Lickness? You have a sword! Oh, well, you know. Uh, <laughs> what can you do, I suppose? <laughs> oh, dear. He's no longer incapable of walking, so let's get that staff. I think Berserk was the only thing that saved your life then, which is kind of terrifying. Damn, we heal up so quickly. I'm, like, insane. Okay, so what else could possibly go wrong? Admittedly, that wasn't that bad. The, the uh, damages we took from that one is because I decided to meet them in the field rather than pull them into the... Uh, into the box. I do think poor old Ariane one's going to be in, in the hospital for a little while, though. At least these most of these attacks are coming out as bruises because of the armor, rather than cuts and more debilitating things. Like, a bruise will knock you on your ass, but you won't bleed out from it, which is, you know, a good thing. Who has tattered apparel? Ariane one? Oh no, my plain leather pants are... Are we not making... Are we not making trousers? Make pants. Oh, inspired taming, I could do something with that, but it seems kind of pointless at this point. Hmm. I am confused as to why... I can't see any trousers in there. I could be being incredibly blind, unless they count. Hmm. No idea. No idea is the basic of that one. Hey, look, we have spare we have spare turrets I could set up. I may set one up back here just out of pure paranoia. I think the, the energy grid can take it. He says. And then the energy grid starts failing massively. Maybe not, huh? <laughs> oh no, it's fine. It's fine. Might not last the night, but, you know. We'll see. We'll find out. How long do we have left here? On the quest. Shuttle arrives in 2.6 days. We can do this. I hope. <laughs> I'm not looking forward to the final push. Whatever the final raid is going to be is going to be just horrendous, and we all and we know it. It's going to be just bone breakingly horrible. I'm not looking forward to it. Wag is hunting husky one for food. What? Ah. Oh no, we went for a rabbit. It's okay. Okay. A group of pirates from the Grey Monsters have arrived in transport pods. Okay. There are people who have relationships with your colonists or prisoners in the arriving group of pirates. Oh dear. Husband of the Stelic Defender, Koskos. So, some of our guards that came with the king, or queen, or whoever it is, the emperor, um, have friendships here. Are they attacking straight away? No, they want to use sappers. Why are you dropping? Good lord. Oh, good lord. Oh, is that a doomsday launcher? Uh-oh. Okay, well, this... This could go badly. This could go very, 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 very badly. Right, you guys, I need you all in the front up here. Ideally, we need to take down the Doomsday Launcher. Like, 100%? Oh, yeah. 
we'll put Sylvie back here, we'll put Cecilia back here, we're gonna move Cubicle to here, we're gonna move up to here. Ariane when I like oh, it's so slow, it's, it's actually kind of a de uh, a detriment. I may send the guards out there to try and take care of them. They've got two doomsday launchers. Flipping wonderful! If they sap in, not in my re uh, my main area, I'm in trouble. Where are you going? I think they're going to go attack up here, but who knows. I need to get rid of this bloody light. But it's very useful, but it gets in the way. Where's the rest of my soldiers? Damn it. This trick. It's cooking. <laughs> Oh, working hard. Where are you going? Oh, oh dear. Oh dear, the Tullite Mech Hive. Where are you going? They dropped right on top of me. Hmm, uh, you know, that could have been worse. Hey, can you notice those guys over there? You're not friendly. You're not friendly, you don't like each other. Well, you know, that went about as well as I'd hope. Uh, let's see if we can... Ryan. Ryan, what are you doing? Get in cover, man. Get in cover. Get out of there. Fat the man with the damn gun. He's for some reason deciding he can melee attack, I think. Wait, relations with the exes? Oh, what? Who attacked who now? Attack him on purpose. Critical alert, fire. No, oh, it's fine. Guess that's what happens when you let off a doomsday launcher, huh? Did we kill the sapper? No, okay. I think I did accidentally shoot. I guess the turret accidentally shot him? Minigun. Blubby! Fuck's sake. <laughs> We need to go and take down the sappers, so we're sending Sylvie, we're sending Cecilia. I'm going to send Blubby, and we're going to send Trig. Let's see if we can get some long shots on these guys. With the snipers. Uh oh. They decide. Uh oh. Uh. Okay, whichever one of you two wants to be an absolute hero, now is your time to shine. Oh dear, there's a shield there. Right, uh. Okay. Okay, I admit. This seemed a lot more of a better idea when, when that wasn't happening. Hero? Hero time! Oh! <laughs> Hero time! Perfect! Who was that? I think that was... Uh, I think that was Cecilia, but we'll double check. Neck shot off. Cecilia's sniper rifle bullet perforated Sapphire's neck. Got him. Cecilia keeps getting hit, she needs to get in the cover. Okay, there's a lot of fire coming back this way. Sylvie, can you take out Slick? Cecilia, take out Catty? Not melee. Not melee. We're nuts, but we're not that nuts. I think they may be coming. I think we may have to run. There's a lot of them. Uh, a lot more of them than I thought there was going to be. Uh, okay, let's... Let's get the shielded guys up here. Yep, okay, that's a lot of firing coming. We don't have suitable cover, or what I would consider suitable cover. But running away may actually put us in more risk. Uh, what, what abilities do we have? I don't use these, but... We have wall rays. And that could provide some cover. 
never used this ability before, <laughs> so I don't know. Let's try it. Let's see what happens. Oh. Well, that was cool. No, they're still coming, right? Let's rethink it. Okay, the shields just went down, which is good. Can I sneak you guys in? Not that way. Down this way. Ah, Cecilia got hit pretty bad there, I feel. Damn, it's these bolt action rifles, man. They've got some range on them. Where are you going? So, we're on that way. I think we need to get Cecilia to a hospital. Now's your time to shine, blub. Ah, he got shot in the. God damn, who is that guy with that bolt action rifle? He's a menace. Absolute bloody menace. Uh, getting up there is going to be a real pain in the ass, but if I sneak around, maybe this will work better. Creepy Coffee, where are you going? No, it's okay. Right. Sylvie. In theory, they're bottlenecked. So we're going to go with that. Uh-oh. Uh, lay down some cover and fire, blood. Bloody shields, man. Right, you take care of that guy. You take care of that guy. Guy, Blubby, you take care of that guy. Actually, let's not do that. Because my guy is actually safe inside of that shield that they dropped, which is, you know, useful. They're fleeing. I forgot about Mr. Trig. That probably would have been helpful. Oh, I think we killed that guy's friend. Oof. Consider them dead. All right, we're going to let them run because we need all the time we can to uh, heal up. Because we took some knocks on that one. A little bit more serious knocks than normal. Admittedly, my bad tactical judgment probably had something to do with it, but you know, that's usually how it goes. We survived, no one died, that's a victory. <laughs> We're just going to ignore the fact the whole base is on fire, you know. Just as I said, we fixed the forest, huh? Let's get rid of those damn doomsday launches. I mean, admittedly... It's a good thing that that Doomsday Launcher didn't go anywhere near my base. That would have been upsetting. Shuttle arrives in two days. We can definitely do this. Admittedly, my entire, like, army is in the hospital right now, but you know, it's little things. I may actually, as a last-ditch thing, can I get more hospital beds? I don't know why I haven't done this, but... I just kind of feel like maybe we could do with them. <laughs> mm. Hospital bed. And it needs a vitals monitor as well. I don't know if that's backwards or not. I hope not. Like a bit of an idiot, wouldn't I? My blubby's hurting pretty bad, but he's alright. He's alright. I should probably make out something that isn't steel, but oh well. Infection? Uh oh. 
Well, that's not good. Minor infection. Would you like to rest in one of the beds that gets a bonus to infections rather than just a random bed? Thanks, bub. You drilling? Okay. Good. Uh, I'm, I'm, just, I'm just getting random things now. I, I just don't want people not doing things. Uh... Hey, I did build it the right way around. Wonderful. As in backwards. Kind of need to clean my room. That's where the disease came from. It came from the uh, blood on the floor. Can I get somebody to come and clean this, please? Thanks. Yeah, now there's a 32% chance. Which still seems rather high, considering it's a sterile room. Or is that because of the beds? Hmm. I don't actually know. It's a, very it's a very weird time for me to be trying to work this out, to be completely honest with you, but you know. There we go. Fully stocked hospital. It's only taken the entire uh, the entire series to get it sorted, but there you go. Six hospital beds and four vital monitors. That will be alright, I hope. What's he doing? What's he looking like? His immunity is 31% and the infection is 25%. Yeah, he's well ahead of it. Well ahead of it. Hundred percent quality? Oh my god, that's insane! Oh, our doctors are really good now. Still thirty-two percent. I wonder why it's so high. Uh oh. Or maybe thirty-two percent is just the base. Who knows? Union of. Oh well, I'm not scared of you. There may be many of you, but you also are not. The uh, you've got pointy sticks. I mean, admittedly, I probably should. Form the troops still, shouldn't I? Uh, well, Blubby's out for the count. So we're going to leave him in bed. We'll take the custodians. Uh, and she's kind of useless at this point, but I'm just going to form everyone up in here first and then put them in their positions afterwards. Hey, what are you doing? Are you sapping right now? Because that's not my wall. Damn it. Bloody hate sappers. And apparently the new upgrade, the new uh, update, the social update, which I imagine a lot of YouTube is playing right now, other than me, because I like to finish what I started. Um, they have tools that allow them to break down your walls now. It's like a, spe a special thing. It's not just... Oh! Oh, crap! Okay, that's a problem. Um... Oh... Okay, right, we need to deal with the tribals, and then once we've dealt with the tribals, I'm gonna go and pull the tribals with the... these guys. Hey, you get away from my bloody wall! Kill that man? Thank you! <laughs> Good shot! <laughs> Can somebody please kill that man? Dead. Run for your goddamn lives. Okay, right up here. Everyone behind the guns. Go, 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 go. Nobody shoot our own men. Go swinging, Trig. Start swinging. <laughs> Ryan? Ryan just walks in like, oh god! What the hell? <laughs> I wanted these guys to be in front so they can maybe block some bullets. Right, I'm micromanaging the hell out of this right now. We're just, we're just cutting them down. This is just a massacre. 
Why is there a fire? Oh, okay, it's, it's, it's just Trig setting fire to people. That's not quite so terrifying. Let me get somebody in there to cut those guys out. Perfect. Right. Next problem. These guys. Uh, we're going to have to... We're going to have to go out there and fight them again. But Cubicle's been hurt this time. Be okay. Ah, a lot of bruising. But go to the hospital anyway. I need them to clear up a little bit here. Okay, well, I'm going to take Stench because I think some of them have got shields. And Stench's gun will take down the shields. I kind of forgot about that in the previous combat. We're definitely taking... I think we're taking all of them. We're not taking Ryan. Ryan, I know you want to be a soldier, my friend, but... Not today. Why do I feel like I'm missing something? What in God's name was that noise? Oh, it was the... It was the charge rifle right next to my head. Ah, that's who we're missing. Get down here. Ophelia's there. Trig's not there either. We need Trig. Yeah, we, need, we need to get them before they build those mortars, otherwise we're going to be in trouble. Uh, and preferably before they build their defences. Let's see if we can just move in and get some pot shots. You guys get that hard cover? I bet you that, that's got to be enough range, right? Come on, somebody wander into the sniper range. Damn it, they didn't. That, I mean, it's closer in there, but... Uh, what's the range on this thing? Not, not great. Not great. I need to draw them out. No cover. No cover between us and them. This sucks. This is going to be really bad. Uh. Hang on, when you move too slowly for that. Okay, let's use the trees as cover, I guess, and hope for the best. Damn it, you're li they're literally just outside of my... Uh-oh, I'm not outside of their range, though. There we go. Damn it, guys. Hit, hit them. Kill them. Good shot. Teamwork. Teamwork makes the dream work. I'm shields. I would, I would say I would really like to take them down before they build all those walls. Arg is what? Well, Arg is hunting Eddie Anwen. Well, that's not what I want. That's not what I want at all. What's the range on the EMP gun? Not great. <laughs> I was gonna be like, can we shoot some EMP in there? Maybe get rid of their shields? Nah. That guy's like a full marine armor. You probably worry about that. You better run away. Oh, come on. We've hit this guy like four times now. Yeah, he's just really a system. Wait, what's a... Rest fall rate minus 20%. Mm. I don't know what that is. Come on, guys. Right, there we go. There's the wild gone. At least because them flashing at me is driving me nuts. Ryan needs... Treatment? And Creepy Coffee's still around. Where is Ryan? Right, get in the bloody hospital, man. Okay, so we took down one of them. Sylvie's no longer shooting. Let's move Sylvie forward. I want all of you focusing fire on that person right there. starting to shoot at us now. Okay, she's dead. Wonderful. Let's take out... I mean, the big boss guy seems a bit of a problem, but eh. I really wish he had a shield. I wonder if we could just charge in there with our melee units now and win. 
you know, seeds of chaos and all that. Only one thing for it. Charge! Merely some of them have, they have a few melee units of their own, but I'm sure it'll be fine. Who else is here who isn't in the fight? No one, I don't think? Okay. That's true. Being a hero. It's all good. He's being a hero. It's fine. Gotta make sure nobody's not doing anything. Okay, they're running. They're running away. Can, can we kill that man? I, I don't know why, but I just don't like him. He's, he's got such good armor on. I just don't like him very much. Oh, come on. Come on. Take him down. Take him down. Kind of reminds me of like a space marine. I was like, oh my god, he's, he's going. Holy crap, he's running. Come on. Take the shot. Ah, he survived. Everyone go to the damn hospital, please. <laughs> Things uh, could have gone better there. Could have gone worse. We keep saying it. Definitely could have gone worse. Oh my god, everything's a mess. That, that's going to be a problem. Like, everything's a huge mess. We've got corpses just piling up. What have we not got here? Steel. We have steel. Good. It just hasn't been done because we've been in combat. Creepy Coffee is rapidly becoming my medic, which is kind of worrying. I don't know. Then again... I mean, only medical are seven, but you know. Harry Amwine can do it too. How's Blubby doing? Infection, major, immunity 74%, infection 46%. He is well ahead of the curve. He is doing fine. Let's get all this blood cleaned up. I'm hoping that was the last big push. Because it arrives in six hours. If there's something massively horrendous, well, do we have to defend the shuttle? Because that would suck. Badly. Because half of my guys are still hurt. A bunch of bruises. I just realised that in theory I could have got them to take off their armour. Never thought about doing that. I don't know what locked means. Maybe I couldn't get maybe I couldn't get them to do it? The shuttle is here. Where is it? You know I have a perfectly good landing pad. Alright, so what am I supposed to do with this shuttle? Am I supposed to load everyone on it? And all of you can ride to the Imperial Shuttle. Right, let's go. Set to load. Erian Wen, Sylvie, Bench, Blubby, Clumsy, Cecilia, Cubicle, Ryan, Creepy Coffee, Trig. Eh, uh, random people who nobody cares about. Oh no, it's too heavy! Well, sorry guys! <laughs> oh no, we've got to save... Got to save Athena. Can I save Sid? Sid's too heavy. No, Sid's too heavy. Oh, and the horses are too heavy. I don't know, if I press OK, is that is that it? Probably should have saved before I did that. You know what? Be smart. Let's uh, ah, random. There we go. Let's just do a random save here because I don't. I've never done this before, and I don't want to mess it up. But when I am when I do worry that if I leave people behind, the game won't finish. I don't know. I've never done this before. We're saving Athena. 
All right, let's go. Accept. Let's see what happens. <laughs> we're, just, we're just loading Athena in. We're getting the hell out of here, guys! The shuttle is loaded. You can launch when ready. Hey! We did it! We escaped the rim world! We've escaped on the Imperial Shuttle. These colonists escaped. Eddie, Anwen, Ryan, Stench, Cubicle, Blubby, Trig, Creepy Coffee, Sylvie, Cecilia, and Clumsy. The High Stellarc will now welcome you into the Imperial Flotilla as an honoured, noble party. You might stay in the Imperial Court and jockey for political power. Perhaps you'll avoid the drama and focus on enjoying ultra-tech luxuries. Or you might even buy a ship and set course for your long-lost home. The choice is up to you. In memory of Mr. Trig 1.0, Blue and Tapir. How many seasons pass you by? Were you glad just to be alive? Waiting, waiting for the sun. Waiting, waiting for the sun. And I guess that's it. We did it. So, I'm going to thank you all very much for following me on this very long series of RimWorld where we finally escaped. Obviously, the next episode will be when the the full version of the sociology, ideology, ideology, not sociology, close, drops and we'll do something new. And hopefully you'll join me for that adventure too and maybe we'll try something a little bit different, a little bit more challenging and... Obviously, all the advice will be greatly appreciated. And yet again, thank you very much for watching this entire thing. You're insane. So, as always, I'll see you next time. <laughs>